Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Uh, yesterday I did a video on Warcraft 3 Reforges launched. It didn't go down particularly well with a huge contingent of players. There seemed to be a plethora of problems. Many seemed to be carried over from the beta process and people were not happy in the slightest. We were getting problems and issues from the game just immediately defeating you before it even had a chance to do any of the campaigns. Many people couldn't even get out of the prologue. Uh, the multiplayer being complete and utterly broken. You couldn't find matches. You couldn't team up with friends. You couldn't do multiple things there. From the in-game created uh, cutscenes, not the FMVs, uh, being downscaled back to how they used to be, whereas they were shown off uh, to be much more interesting and engaging at BlizzCon, of course. And also, assets in the game. Some things getting reforged, other things not getting reforged. Environments not matching because of the updated and non-updated start. There seems to be a whole load of crap going on. But, because Blizzard, of course, listened, they are an ethical company, they believe in giving customer service and looking after their clients, uh, they said, look, uh, we are going to work hard to fix this, uh, we apologise, however, if anybody does want a refund, we have no problem in giving you one uh, in, to, in line with your consumer rights. No! <laughs> no, they just stole your money again! They just stole your money! They said, you want a refund? No! Yeah, there seems to be multiple issues still going on. And Blizzard not just denying refunds. And we're going to see if this is true. Because we're going to attempt to get me a refund in this video. Uh, but uh, they also seem to be banning people who are putting the information out there to receive a refund. So don't worry, folks, I will post a link in the description box down below, and that link will take you to the refund page, okay? So we won't have any issues with that whatsoever. So let's get into it, shall we? This is the first issue that I'm going to deal with today, and we're also, don't fret, going to look at the copyright issue for the custom-based games as well. I'm all over this one today, folks. This is from the actual official forums itself. Blizzard is denying refunds. After this whole scam and violation to the map maker rights, I requested a refund. I have not played uh, the game in beta. I'll get to the map maker rights later on. That is part of the copyright issue. I've not even installed it. So I was eager to play it on release day, but I got busy with work. When I requested my refund, it was automatically denied. You are no longer eligible for a refund on any of your products. I can't even go back to Classic or Warcraft 3 because they kill Classic and Warcraft 3. Um, I've been out of the loop with Classic, so I don't know what he means by the kill Classic. However, in terms of Warcraft 3, uh, another issue was that Blizzard were automatically overriding the old version of Warcraft 3 with the new Warcraft Reforged, whether you'd purchased it or not. So, uh, that seemed to be causing a lot of issues with people who didn't want it overridden. But, there we go. That's, that's by the by. So, we, um, we have the issue here. They've posted their details on how they wanted to, to get a refund, etc. So, let's go to me. This is the refund link. The one that is in the description box down below. And this is the product. Warcraft 3 Reforged. Uh, payments request a refund. Now, I didn't participate in the beta process for this. I, if you're unaware, I'm, I'm currently on a uh, boycott of Blizzard titles while the ban on Blitzchung holds. I haven't forgotten. I know many people did forget, particularly at BlizzCon when Blizzard just went, hey, look, shiny couple of games, and everyone went, all is forgiven. Uh, Blizzard, fr feel free to continue uh, to, to back China against human rights uh, because you love money uh, more than you do freedom. Uh, yeah, so uh, I boycotted them for six months, so I didn't participate in the beta testing, and I have not installed the game either because my boycott is still ongoing until Blitzchung's ban runs out. Let's see 
if I can get a refund. Continue. It's having a think. We're processing your request. Please leave this page open and we'll update you as soon as you're done. None of your orders are eligible for refund. Make sure you're signed into the correct account. I am signed into the correct account. Well, thank you for that, Blizzard. We'll, uh, we'll look further into that, shall we? So let's jump to this now on Redditus. Telling people how to refund Warcraft 3 Reforged makes you get banned. Uh, Hidden Pants has written. So for helping people finding refund options makes you get a two-week ban. Talk about they know they made a bad game and they need to silence people. My main account has been banned for two weeks. Now, other people also uh, posted various images of this person, for example, is unable to post until the 1st of February 2020, which is, you know, a couple of days. So they probably hit, hit a three-day ban, but we can't confirm why they got a three-day ban. So, you know, we, we can't confirm these ones. Um, and also, they were re this person was ref uh, denied a refund because too much playtime. And they said, what playtime? The game won't even load. <laughs> so they haven't even managed to muster up some playtime yet. According, again, according to them. And, uh, yeah, then we've got that one again. So I'll put that one. So this seems to be a bit of an issue as regards to uh, people being denied refunds, as we've just seen from myself. Uh, people being banned for spreading the word, hence why I've put the uh, link in the description box down below. And I want to get back to this because of the map maker rights. Now, one of the biggest things that happened with the previous Warcraft 3 game was the custom maps and the ability to uh, create fantasy uh, scenarios uh, aliens versus predators, wh whatever, you know, I'm just using that as an example, not necessarily a fact. And I guess the biggest issue was from these custom maps, we got Dota, we got League of Legends. <laughs> really, so um, Blizzard have, have decided to, to clamp down on this. And what they've done this time around, because obviously those games have made people a lot a lot of money. When it comes to the customization, the custom maps, the intellectual property of your maps belongs to Blizzard, not you. And they are not required to compensate you in any way if they make use of said intellectual property. Copyrighted material is not allowed to be used in any custom maps. I'll get back to this one. Which means a multitude of older maps such as Anime Fights, Dragon Ball Z Tribute, Pimp My Mario are now banned. Any context... Uh, content which is deemed inappropriate by Blizzard can be removed at their discretion. Right, a couple of things that I, I, I got to be fair on this, folks. I got to be fair. You can kind of understand the copyright issues because we're living in different times now than 2002, particularly when it comes to the use of copyright stuff and the way that people could use the copyrighted stuff. So uh, Blizzard could potentially, not saying it isn't exact, but due to the potential legalities of all, Blizzard could find themselves potentially in trouble with people using the custom uh, map creator and all that sort of stuff to make a uh, custom game with copyrighted material. It could reflect back on Blizzard and they just don't want that hassle. So I get that. I also fully understand uh, content which they deem inappropriate. Uh, and and the de and the deletion of that, I fully understand that and can actually appreciate that. Um, what we might find non inappropriate, they might find appropriate. Like if we have naked anime busty women's versus uh, naked Lara Crofts, <laughs> sounds great on paper. But uh, does Blizzard want their brand attached to that sort of thing? No, most likely not. So at least you can understand, even though it is a little bit of the fun police is coming to get you, uh, there you go. However, what this means here, though, is if people actually get really creative, and I mean originally creative, so they create something a la kin to Dota or League of Legends that really uh, 
takes off with people, that really gravitates towards people. That person that put all that effort into creating it, that found that niche, will get goose egg, nothing from the process at all. Blizzard will not compensate them. And I've seen the actual OG Blizzard post. Blizzard will not compensate them in any way, shape, or form. So they'll do all the work. Blizzard will get all the credit and the money. And would you really want to put yourself through the process of, of doing a customized map that could be the next Dota, could be the next LOL, could be the next whatever? And find that you're going to get jack shape from it. Because the guarantee, there's no guarantee that you're going to make lightning strike twice. This could be your magnum opus. That's it. That's all you had in you. You had that and there it came out. And then Blizz just like, thank you. We'll take all of it. Take all your money. We'll take all your rights. You got nothing. Thank you very much for making this cash dollar. So don't say in the comments down below. I mean, you can, but you'll be a fucking idiot. Don't say, well, it's not likely that people are going to, you know, do anything. Dota, lol. League of Legends. That's all i got to say. It's been done in the past. It could happen again. So you might want to defend it and say, well, Blizzard are being shrewd this time. That they make sure they get a cut of the pie. To me, it stifles... It would stifle... To me, it would say... I wouldn't want to put waste my time, put it that way. I wouldn't want to waste my time potentially creating something which I'll get no credit for, no compensation for. It would have to be done through love. And I ain't got jack shit love for, for Blizz, so they can go, you know, suck my nuts. Uh, so there we go, folks. Uh, refunds being denied, as we've just seen live. And also people being banned, uh, apparently, allegedly for attempting to uh, get the word out about how you can actually uh, apply for a refund and also blizzard saying hey people who want to get involved in custom games uh, we're taking every single solitary thing about it you're going to get jack so feel free to waste your time there we go so i hope you enjoyed the vid if you did do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel follow me on social media and twitch for live streaming links they're in the description box down below, and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.